So guys, welcome to the first episode of my FIFA 16 Real Madrid career mode series. Yes guys, today we will be starting a new career mode series here on the Shorty FIFA YouTube channel. This is going to be a one season career mode with Real Madrid, but this isn't just going to be any Real Madrid career mode. This is going to be a Super League career mode. Yes, guys, today we will be starting the FIFA 16 Real Madrid Super League career mode. For all you guys that do follow my FIFA 14 flashback career mode that gets uploaded every Thursday, you guys will know how my Super Leagues work. Yes, this is a Super League. This is one league that contains the best 20 teams from all around the world all in one league. You guys know that we'll be playing with Real Madrid, but let's actually take a look at the teams that will be in this league. Arsenal, Atletico Madrid, Bayer Leverkusen, Borussia Dortmund, Chelsea, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, Schalke, Inter Milan, Juventus, Manchester City, Manchester United, Milan, Napoli, Lyon, Marseille, PSG, obviously us, Real Madrid, Real Sociedad, and Roma. Guys, go ahead and click that like button right now if you are excited for this Super League career mode series with Real Madrid. This is really going to test my side, my Real Madrid side. And this is really going to see if we are the best team in the world. Like I just say, go ahead and click that like button. Thank you all so much for support on the channel. Drop a comment down below that I can respond to. Click subscribe if you are new around here. For all my subscribers that already watch my videos, you guys know that I upload one video every single day and that one video is going to be a career mode video so thank you all so much for support on the channel it really does mean the world to me all your likes your comments and all of you guys that do subscribe in the description down below will be a link to my twitter and my instagram go ahead and follow though or follow me on my social media sites but let's actually head in head into this career mode guys and let's actually take a look at my shortlist before we head in and actually take a look at my shortlist, I need to show you guys the starting squad here at Real Madrid. So you guys can see the starting 11. This is the default starting 11. Most likely I won't be starting with the 4-2-3 on formation. But let's take a look. In goals is Navas. The left back is Marcelo. The two centre backs are Sergio Ramos and Pepe Caviel as the right back. In the midfield, we've got Cruz and Modric. Out on the left wing position, we have Cristiano Ronaldo. Central taking midfield position, we've got James Rodriguez. Bale out on the right midfield and Karim Benzema on top. That is the starting 11, the default starting 11 here at Real Madrid. Take a look at the substitutes and the reserves. Isco, Hesse Rodriguez, Kovacic, Baran, Casilla, Abaloa, Danilo. It is a very strong Real Madrid side. You guys already know uh, the Real Madrid team. Also, Martin Odegaard on the reserves, a player that I really want to use in this cream mode series. Haven't really, haven't really used him too much in my other cream mode, but you guys know that I do have a FIFA 16 Leicester City cream mode that is is on a season break. That is why we're having this one season career mode. If Odegaard does play well during this Real Madrid career mode, I will most likely sign him in my Leicester City career mode. You guys know that we have heaps of money here at Real Madrid. I have an 82 million pound transfer budget and a 300,000 wage budget. That is insane money, guys. So when you are dropping your comments in the comment section down below, just remember that is the transfer budget that I am working with. Now it's time to actually take a look at my shortlist. David De Gea is one goalkeeper. He was heavily rumoured to go to Real Madrid earlier on this season. The transfer didn't go through, but that is the one player I really do want to sign. David De Gea. Jose Gaia, a man that I tried to sign in my Leicester City crew mode. I now have the funds here at Real Madrid. Definitely a player I want to sign. Paul Pogba, you guys know how well Pogba is. I'm a massive fan of Paul Pogba. I talk about him quite a bit in my videos for you guys that do follow me. Um, I love Paul Pogba and definitely a player I do want to sign. Mario Goethe, we all know how strong he is. Definitely a player that would suit this Real Madrid side. And the striker that I want to sign is Sergio Aguero. Yes, we all know how well Sergio, how good of a player Sergio Aguero is. And he's definitely a player I do want to sign. We only really have one natural striker that I'm interesting, interested in, and that is obviously Karim Benzema. So Sergio Aguero is definitely a player I do want to sign during this series. You guys can see that Sergio Aguero's value is 34 million pounds. I've got 82 million pounds, but I don't want to spend it all just yet. 
That is why I'm going to give Manchester City, Manchester City sorry, an offer of £35 million for Sergio Aguero. As you guys can probably tell also from this first episode that this is going to be a live commentary series. You guys know that mostly of my career mode episodes are mostly post commentary, but I'm gonna be doing live commentaries for this Real Madrid career mode. You guys know for all you guys that follow me that I upload one video every single day. In the description down below, you guys can actually find out what time uh, my videos actually come out. I do have a time and an upload schedule in the description. Manchester City won £62 million pounds for Sergio Aguero. Wow, and that is just way too much in my opinion. We're actually going to offer him £45 million. Pounds. That'll leave £38 million pounds in the transfer budget. Definitely enough uh, transfer budget for us to sign a few more players. Manchester City definitely want that £62 million pounds for Sergio Aguero. They are not going to settle for less than that for the uh, world-class striker. So what I'm going to do, guys, is offer Jesse Rodriguez plus £45 million pounds for Sergio Aguero. Let's hope that that can go through. It's a bit of an interesting offer. And will Man City accept that? Highly unlikely, but hey, I'm going to try. Guys, we have seen if they transfer offer for Kaylor Navas, our starting 11 goalkeeper, eight million pounds from Watford. It's a pretty decent offer, to be honest, eight million pounds. I am gonna bump it up to 12.5 million pounds, and will Watford accept that? Highly unlikely. Guys, we have seen if they transfer offer for Sergio Ramos, Chelsea, 30 million pounds. Sergio Ramos is that one player I do not want to get rid of during this uh, Super League season. So I'm gonna reject all offers and disallow future offers for Sergio Ramos. Yeah, again, guys, another transfer offer for one of our players. This time it's for Marcelo, 22 million pounds from Wolfsburg. Pretty decent offer as he's only valued at 16.5 million pounds. I'm actually going to bump it up to 27 million pounds. And will Wolfsburg accept that? Most likely they won't, but um, anything could happen. You know, this is career mode and Wolfsburg might accept it as we do have an email. And yet again, Manchester City... I uh, don't like Jesse Rodriguez in this transfer, and it is going to be quite difficult for us to sign Sergio Aguero. So guys, I'm actually going to stop pursuing Manchester City for Sergio Aguero. I'm actually going to try and go for David De Gea. He's worth £30 million, sort of similar to Aguero, um, and let's hope that we could sign David De Gea. I'm actually going to give Manchester United £25 million, pounds for David De Gea. Will they accept that? We're going to have to wait and find out. Huge news, guys. As Watford accept my counteroffer for Kaylor Navas, 12.5 million pounds, Watford have accepted it. And could Navas be leaving the club for Watford? We have a transfer offer here for Benzema, 40 million pounds for Manchester City. Wow, what an offer for Benzema and... I really don't know guys, should I accept this offer? 40 million pounds, it is quite tempting. It'll bring that, bring our transfer budget to around 120 million. Pretty decent offer from Man City. What I'm gonna do is bump it up to 46 million pounds. And if Manchester City accept that count offer for Benzema, I will go all out and sign Aguero. Wolfsburg have accepted my count offer for Marcelo, 27 million pounds. What is going on, guys? There's so many players that are already leaving the club. Navas most likely will be leaving to Watford. Now Marcelo leaving to Wolfsburg? Manchester City have just accepted my count offer for Karim Benzema, 46 million pounds. It is a done deal. Manchester City most likely We'll be getting Benzema. We'll receive a transfer offer for Casemiro, the central defensive midfielder. Six million pounds from Sandora that I am just going to reject. I don't want too many players actually leaving the club. Could Benzema actually leave the club for Man City? It is looking like it is going to go through. We're going to have to advance, advance during this transfer window. United want 46 million pounds for David De Gea. Player sold. Marcelo has gone to Wolfsburg. And Kaylor Navas has gone to Watford. 
two players already departed the club. A left, um, our main left back, our starting 11 left back, and now a starting 11 goalkeeper. We really have to go out and sign a few players right now. United won 46 million pounds, but we could try less. I'm actually going to give them 38 million pounds, and hopefully, I really feel like United could accept that. Um, and let's hope that we can get the signing of David De Gea. Kareem Benzema has been sold to Manchester City. Yes, guys, Benzema has been sold to City for £46 million. So many players are departing the club, but we have good news that United have accepted our transfer offer for David De Gea. We're actually going to give him exactly what he wants. The 180000 per week, crucial first team player, David De Gea. Could he be joining Real Madrid right now? Let's actually go and advance. What a transfer window he has been already, and we haven't even passed July of 2015. As we continue advancing in the transfer window, and there it is, guys. David De Gea has accepted the contract. David De Gea is the first signing in this FIFA 16 Real Madrid Super League career mode. Look at those goalkeeper stats, guys. 88 goalkeeper diving, 81 handling, 86 kicking, 83 positioning, 89 reflexes. Way better stats than Navas did have. Dav De Gea, like I did say, is the first signing in this Real Madrid career mode, and he's going to slot in perfectly in that goalkeeper position. With the transfer of Benzema going to Manchester City, it's time to go all out and try and sign Sergio Aguero. We have 117 transfer budget, 117 million to be exact, in the transfer budget. It's time to go all out for Sergio Aguero. It's time to give Manchester City 46 million pounds for Aguero. We've received a transfer offer from Arsenal for Isco. Another huge offer. So many teams are coming with huge offers for my players. Isco, 34.5 million pounds for from Arsenal that I am just going to reject. I'm actually not going to go ahead with that deal. I still want to keep it that Real Madrid feel in the squad, but with three uh, players already departing in this club, the likes of Benzema, Navas, and Marcelo, especially Marcelo, uh, our starting left back, Manchester City have accepted our transfer offer for Sergio Aguero. This is incredible, guys. We're going to give him exactly what he wants. The 220000 per week, that is an incredible amount per week. Crucial first team player, three years. Can Sergio Aguero accept the contract? Sergio Aguero has accepted the contract and Sergio Aguero is the second signing in this Real Madrid career mode. Welcome Aguero to Real Madrid. As we take a look at Aguero stats, 87 overall, 90 attacking positioning. You guys can see a lot of dark greens, light greens. Look at these skill attributes. Heaps of dark greens, heaps of light greens, which is awesome to see. He is a four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, high medium work rate, striker, Argentinian. You guys already know the 27-year-old Sergio Aguero is the second signing in this career mode series. And just like David De Gea, Sergio Aguero is going to fit straight into our starting eleven. With the departure of Marcelo, I did show you guys my shortlist, and in that shortlist was Jose Gaia, a young left back at Valencia. I'm gonna ask my scout to scout him further, and we're gonna come back to see what sort of stats Jose Gaia has. He's definitely gonna be one of our cheaper buys in this transfer window, and definitely a player I wanna sign. We received another transfer offer for Isco, this time 39 million pounds from AS Roma. What is with these teams and their crazy transfer offers? This is probably one of the best transfer offers I've received for a player like an Isco. 39 million pounds. That's an incredible fee. We're going to bump it up actually to 43.5 million pounds. It's about another 4.5 million from AS Roma's transfer offer. Will they accept that? We're going to have to wait and find out. AS Roma are only going to give me a 39 million pound bid for Isco and that's definitely a very very interesting transfer offer if I if I get rid of Isco if Isco does depart the club it'll bring our transfer budget to around 110 million pounds then we could sign Murray Goethe and we could sign Paul Pogba um, with 110 million pounds I really don't know what to do right here guys 
I'm actually gonna reject it. I'm not gonna go through with the offer. I wanna, you know, I wanna keep a player like an Isco, and I don't really wanna get this series out of hand. You guys already know that this is a Super League career mode. It's not going to be the most realistic career mode. You guys know that my Leicester City career mode is probably about the most realistic that you're going to get here on the Shorty FIFA YouTube channel. When it does come to career mode wise, you guys know the amount of uh, young players I've signed during the Leicester City career mode. We have another trend offer, this time for Fabio Colin Trail. Definitely a left back that isn't really going to play too much this season, but I really do need a backup left back for Jose Gaia if that transfer does go through. And talking about Jose Gaia, I have received my final scout report on him. He's at 80 overall, 12.5 million pounds. Look at those stats, guys, all those dark greens. And I'm going to go in and buy him. He's definitely a cheap buy. Like I did say, one of the cheaper buys during this transfer window. I'm actually going to give Valencia 13.5 million pounds for Jose Gaia. That is how we're going to end off the first episode of the FIFA 16 Real Madrid career mode series. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and click that like button. Like I did say during the video, I really need your guys' support for the first episode. Click subscribe if you are new around here. Drop a comment down below on players you want me to sign throughout this series. You guys can see that it is a Super League. It is going to be a very, very interesting series. Catch up on any videos you may have missed from me. Don't miss tomorrow's episode. Episode number two will Will be super Sunday special of Cream Mode, and you guys already know for you guys that follow me on the channel that super Sunday specials of Cream Mode are 20 minute specials of Career Mode. It'll be a 20 minute special of the FIFA 16 Real Madrid Career Mode tomorrow. Don't miss it. I'll see you all tomorrow for that video.